All right, quick review. Multiplying integers. Really easy. Just got to remember the proper signs. So our first example here, two examples are on the left. It's when you're multiplying like signs. Positive times a positive or a negative times a negative. And you must remember that they are a positive. All right, first one, 15. Too boring. All right. But look, on the second one, a negative times a negative is a positive, And that one is also 15. Look, we can do 3 times 5. You just got to remember a negative times a negative is a positive. Piece of cake. Well, on the right, you could either have a negative times a positive. That's this first example. Or you could have a positive times a negative, And that's the second example. Well, again, no problem as long as you remember that when the signs are different, one's positive and one's negative, the results or the product's going to be negative. So a negative 3 times a positive 5 is a negative 15. And for the same reason, a positive 3 times a negative 5 is a negative 15. Multiplying integers. It's easy. You can do it, and you can be proficient at it.